Aloha, we're going to start testing. And so, moving over here to where all the samples are. Scanning for essences, homeopathic essence combinations, for psycho-emotional patterns. And that's clear. Then we go to vitamins, minerals, amino acids, and foods. So basically the nutrition area. That's clear. Looking for anything that's a major significant block and uh, that the body's trying to clear in the healing process. There's, these are no-sodes, and this is, it is uh, no-sode ornitho, O-R, O-R-N, sorry, uh, O-E-N, I-T-H-O, I gotta get a little more light on that. It's a magnifier there too. It's O R. I was right first. O R N I T H O. Uh, the rest is it's worn off. I'll have to I'll have to check that. Okay. Uh, for interpretation, that's hasn't come up in a long time. Okay. And it's uh, ISO. Let's just see what that looks like. So it's just a resonance, but we want to see what it's resonating with. Okay. O E N. What is it? O E N. O R N. Oh, sorry. Yeah. O R N. I T H O. Uh, and it's not not showing up in the database. No. Okay. No, so, so we may not get a specific uh, interpretation on that. Let me see if we get any kind of completion suggestions. I'm going to put in no sewed first. No sewed ornitho. No suggested completions. Okay, well, we're just going to balance it. And the potency, potency on it is 26. So it's just an energetic energy field. And we're doing some eye, choose f f uh, frequencies and the nest patterns. We've got ET10, which is a liver terrain pattern. Looking at colors, some min specific minerals and limes related nosodes. We've got the main area here, 21 times 1. So it's the highest stress area, 21. Looking for a localization of that. It's in the meridians, lung meridian. Okay, and phase two terrain, which can be bacterial terrain, it can be parasite terrain. Uh, could be enzyme blockages, aging related. Does it relate to, does it localize? I'm looking still. Okay. Localizes to the skin, which is where the symptoms are, are focused right now. Uh, okay. So it could, could be bacterial, that's the terrain. And then that no so, Maybe a bacteria, but 
I don't have a confirmation on that. Bile is a stress. And something here in the meridians, kidney meridian. So it's lung and kidney meridians. The first head of causal chain is the bacterial terrain, phase two terrain. Most affected by that is, is the no -so. Okay. See if I put in instead of no sod, which is a homeopathic term, if I put in bacteria ornitho, still no no autocompletion, uh, no autocompletion suggestions. Okay. But not not a problem. Uh, yeah, and so we're looking for the the head of causal chain was the phase two. Phase so two affecting the nosode. Yeah, looking for something to balance. Uh, we no longer have. We're no longer making the uh, first line. First line, which was a, a bioidentical antibiotic compound that the immune system makes. So that's unfortunate, but uh, we've, so we've come up with a couple of, of good alternatives to that that are very broad spectrum, antimicrobial, antibacterial, viral, fungal, parasitic. Uh, and so this one's called CDS. It's a two component system. You mix them together, dilute it in water and drink it, just build up according to tolerance. And so it's water, a water purification. Once a day? Thing. Yeah, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll, uh, directions, one drop per drop of the CDS activator, um, mixed for 30 seconds in a glass, glass vessel, so just the, these two liquids mixed for 30 seconds, so it's fully mixed. And it should turn uh, about an amber color, then dilute it into full glass or, or half glass of water. And then you can build up the number of drops according to tolerance. Uh, is there a maximum drops that we would build up to? Uh, not on the label, so we'll, we'll, we'll give further directions and guidance. Okay. But uh, it's going to take a while to build that up by just one drop a day. Okay. Because you don't want a, a die off, a strong die off reaction. A little bit of die off reaction, okay, you can always back down one drop to the level it's tolerated, test it out again. You want to just uh, not okay. stress the body by, because some bacteria will have endotoxins that are released when the cell dies. You want the liver or the kidney, which are our uh, stressed areas to, uh, you yeah, with the bile that's related to liver, and then kidney meridian is showing up. So it's good that it's not too bad the organs organs themselves are not saying, hey, I'm stressed, but the kidney <laughs> and the liver Sorry. is an issue. Okay, so that's balancing, <coughs> plus you, that's balancing phase two terrain. Okay. And let's see if anything else, and it's balancing the nose, so, so great. That's a good, good start. And if there is staff, you know, that may not show up energetically. We always have staff in our, on our body. Uh, it's a normal flora on the skin. But uh, if it's overgrowing because of the terrain, this is still going to help to uh, knock that down as well, help the immune system. Okay, so the second layer we're going to identify now, and that's the kidney meridian. Okay, there's the head of causal chain. Most affected is lung. So the kidney, these are the meridians, so it's the electrical channels which cleanse the connective tissue uh, that goes through that, those organs. 
thinking about the function of the kidney in relation to the lung, the kidney's primary job is to eliminate acids uh, in the urine. And if it's not able to do that, do that effectively, efficiently, then there's more acids that the lung has to breathe out in terms of, of carbonic acid and can be stressed by whatever the other acids might be in the loop. So we're looking for a remedy for kidney meridian. The most common thing that will balance that is microbiome. So that's not it. And it's not the uh, transform, which is, is the uh, cell-based organisms. It's not uh, immune intelligence, which also has microbiome in it. Okay. So what else? Maybe a combination. Yes, it's a combination. He's been pretty regularly taking the microbiome, I think, or not very regularly, but occasionally he mm -hmm. orders a bottle here. So mm -hmm. that happy. would explain why that's not enough or not the thing that's doing it. Yeah. It's going to be a combination with transform, which will be some other species, soil based organisms. They'll make enzymes, good for this phase two enzyme bacterial terrain. Bacteria can grow and they have enzymes that can get energy out of stuff that our enzymes are not breaking down like they normally would. So what goes with that? Okay, scanning, I feel. With transform. Perfect skin. Okay, well that makes oh, that's sense because that's going to help yeah. restore the barrier function of the skin, which is yeah. where all these symptoms are showing up. That could, that will take a little time uh, to to to. It's going to be oral, so it's going to be feeding the skin from its formation, which takes about 30 days to reach the surface. But you may see it's, it's going to be helping before that because it's going to start improving that barrier function from the base of the skin uh, up. Okay. Is, is there, is there a, the dosage on that just one a day? Yeah, one a day is fine. Okay. Okay. So. Anything? Did the lung meridian balance on that that's layer? That's what I'm, I'm checking. So balance the kidney meridian. Yes, it does balance the lung meridian. So it's yeah, saying that's downstream, secondary, but where some symptoms might show up. And in, in Oriental medicine, the lung meridian is very much connected with the immune, the Wei Qi, the immune function of the skin. That's balancing skin. Nice. Still have some stress in the bile, so it's going to be liver related. But it does balance the liver terrain, ET10. And the infraceuticals are clear. Okay. We already cleared the nosode. We're good up here, so it just appears to be the uh, bile. Is that correct? That's all I have left. Yep. yep. Nice. Nice. So. Looking for balancing the file. Free and easy. One a day. Uh, Chinese herbal combination, free and easy wanderer, it's usually called in the full translation, but uh, wanderers in our culture and seen as <laughs> so, don't have it so free and easy. <laughs> so we just call it free and easy. Americans can relate to that. But it's the it's the concentrates of the Chinese herbs without any of the the wax, the talc, the things that are added to Chinese tea pills, or the sulfur, sulfur or pesticides that are often sprayed on the, the raw herbs when they're shipped over. So it's as clean and concentrated as possible. So just one capsule is going to give a nice support. It's not the, the full, you know, maximum dose. So just one a day? Just one a day. Okay, Again, got it. It's good. You can always experiment. If you feel drawn to take more of of you know any of the capsules, you certainly can, especially uh, initially, if you if you feel drawn to a loading dose. I probably wouldn't 
in, I wouldn't do a loading dose of the, the CDS activator because of potential die off. Transform, probably similar. I'd just start with one capsule. Uh, but. Uh, what, both, wait, this, which one is that? The transform. Yeah, per, transform per, one a day. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Perfect all, skin all one, one a day. day everything's one a day. Okay. Yeah, everything one a day. But, but if you felt drawn to do a loading dose of perfect skin and or free and easy, I see no problem with that whatsoever. Uh, it could accelerate the results. Yeah, the, uh, yeah, just, just, the uh, just move things forward. I, I, I don't see any downside of that, you know, any reaction likely with that. So that is... So what about uh, some relief for the uh, topical, topical yeah. like MSM yeah. lotion yeah. or yeah. ozonated olive oil? Ozonated olive oil. Olive oil. Both, recommend those things? Both of those. Let me, I'll double check, but those both would be really great. The, the MSM lotion's out in that the fridge in the hall now. Okay. I'm uh, going after the ozonated olive oil here first. Okay. Yes, beneficial ozonated olive oil. So that's going to be cleansing. That's uh, if there are bacteria uh, involved, uh, that's going to help knock those down. It's oxidizing. It knocks down the bacteria. But uh, if there's an open wound, open sore, you know, oozing, you want to put it basically around because the oxidation right in the wound can make it a little red, and then you don't know if the redness is due to infection or if it's due to the, the oxidation, the cleansing. Strong and some people effect. find it really soothing to put it right in the sore too, so you can yeah, kind you of can, play with you know, that. Yeah, it depends. So you can definitely play with that. I would start with it around an open area, yeah. and, and some's going to, it melts and it's going to tend to ease its way into it a little bit, uh, if that's fine, you, and you feel like putting it more directly in, you could experiment, but like on one spot and see how that, how that goes. See yeah. how it feels. Your body knows. Your yeah, body's smart. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let me see which uh, of the... We had a client who had had psoriasis her whole life. She was in her late 60s. She'd had it since a teenager or younger. The back of her neck was kind of like an elephant skin and uh, she started taking our perfect skin. She took three a day uh, and within six months her skin, um, except for one small area, it was all perfectly normal skin which she had never experienced in her whole li adult life. So that perfect skin is amazing. Pure and natural. Okay, it makes sense. The unscented, pure, and natural yeah. is perfect. Okay, that's gonna be very soothing, very nourishing. Um, yep. Cool. Okay. So you can always you could always um, put a light layer of the o ozonated olive oil on, and then cover that with the MSM lotion. I think would be the the sequence I would use. You want the the ozone to penetrate. The the MSM lotion is going to be very soothing on top of that, and just kind of hold hold it in. They both penetrate. It's going to the MSM has I would, other nutrients. Uh, well, what just, would you do? Well, I would put the MSM lotion on first because it absorbs easier, it, mm -hmm. and then the and then okay. the, the ozonated olive oil uh, seems kind of like it stays. There's the the uh, olive oil kind of stays on the surface, the ozone right. penetrates, and the ozone will help to uh, True, the draw ozone the will penetrate MSM through in. the MSM lotion. And, I think so, and, yeah. yeah. That's okay. how I do it. She's the skin <laughs> esthetician, <laughs> skin expert, so I'll go with that then. MSM lotion first, it penetrates easily, and then you're, you're going to be kind of blending the ozonated olive oil into that if you're putting it on the same spot right at the immediately afterwards. Yeah, because it might not use the ozonated olive oil everywhere. You just use it on the really tough pots yeah. you know, where they're scabbing and, uh, you know, yeah, and real more, super more itchy. Yeah, more toward infection or yeah. think on, the, on the itching areas that could help too. Yes, it's very okay. helpful for itching. Great. Yeah, Great. yeah. And so is the MSM lotion. Yeah. They both are. Yeah, yeah. So. But you can explore it. You could try it one way first, yep. you know, try the yep. MSM first and then the ozonated olive oil. And then maybe the next time try it the other way. See what you like better. 
Yeah, if you find a particular uh, solution combination, yeah, you can let us know works, what you let us know, work for you, and we'll know. Put that in our data. <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay, I think that's okay. all the. Let us know any questions by email. Would be great. Yeah, he was asked. He had some questions oh. about the. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's see uh, about liver and adrenals being stressed. Uh, Which was we saw bile, liver terrain. We saw the kidney meridian. Those are all related. Adrenals for sure are you know the main anti-inflammatory uh, system, but we didn't see directly that the adrenals needed uh, direct support. No. Nope. So that's that's good. Yeah. Liver more. Keep going. The vitamin C is helping support the adrenals for sure. Just make sure that uh, any uh, supplements that you're using, like the garlic, the echinacea, well, not the echinacea, unless it's in a well, it could tablet, be yeah. just, uh, because yeah. those block the absorption of not only everything. those supplements, but everything, your food and any supplements that we give you that we're we're making them very carefully with no, with slowly with no excipients. So. Yeah, if, yep. uh, if you do have excipients in those, uh, we would recommend getting our Synergy C, right? Yeah. Can you say? Yeah. Synergy yep. C. Yeah, if you're looking for alternatives, we can just let us know, you know what the product is you're looking to replace, and we can suggest what would be an upgrade. Okay. All right. That's all. Right. Good healing to you. Aloha.